Hi, my name is Naomi Joy Gallagher. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a full body dumbbell AMRAP workout. We have six different AMRAPs. AMRAPs is an abbreviation for as many rounds as possible within a specified time period. Today we're going to be working for three minutes. You guide the intensity so you can take breaks at any time. I'll be using a variety of weights ranging from eight to 15 pounds. I'm also gonna be using a yoga block for some elevated lunges. The block is optional. You could also use a book or a thinner block. You want the surface large enough that you can place your foot on it. Before we get started, if you enjoy full body dumbbell workouts, then please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We'll start by placing the hands to the shoulders and we're going to circle the elbows, opening the chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Feet are grounded into the earth. Belly button hugs to spine. Make sure you're breathing. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and we're going to fold into this forward fold. Bend the knees enough that your belly's on your thighs. Release your arms now down and we're going to roll up the spine, transitioning into a high lunge. As we alternate in the lunge, we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together, elbows pull back. In your high lunge, your feet are in parallel, your knees are in alignment with the center of the foot. Tuck your tailbone under by engaging your lower abs. Square your hips to the top of the mat. hip knees and toes are turned out and we're combining this with a stretch to the side push your weight back into your heel knee presses out hinge at the hips keep your chest up and your spine straight every time you straighten your legs think about engaging through your glutes and your quad muscles the front of the thighs maintaining that slight turnout in the hips. As you stand up, booty engages, belly button hugs in. At the bottom of the squat, press your knees wide, push your weight back into your heels. down, press your elbows into your knees, keep your chest up, and then as you fold, push the hips to the sky, allow your head to be heavy on the spine. We'll step forward into a plank and we're going to step wide to a lunge, twisting towards the front leg. We're alternating sides, just flow at your own pace. Remember that you're stepping to the outside of the mat so you have more room to twist. Try and straighten through the back leg and push through your heel. Think about your fingertips activating, clutching the earth, taking pressure off of the wrists. up position, your hands are at the sides of the body, your chest is between the hands, your belly button is hugged in, your glutes are engaged in the plank.
exercise, we're challenging our coordination working opposite leg to arm. We're also mobilizing the hips by activating the adductor and abductor muscles on the inner and outer sides of the hips. Pull your belly button in, make sure your lower back is flat. And if this is difficult for you, just bend your knees and make your circles smaller. To maintain a deep connection to your core, you want to make sure you're breathing. So as you inhale, breathe into your back sides and belly. And as you exhale, pull the belly button into spine. Before we start our AMRAP circuits, we're gonna warm up with a little bit of cardio. We have two moves. We're gonna be working for 30 seconds each with no rest in between. And we're gonna go through these two moves twice. We're working our obliques, twisting the upper body to the side. Chest is lifted, shoulders are away from ears, and you're reaching to the outside of your foot. You can modify this by bending your knees. your weight in your heels, chest is up, and we're stepping side to side, staying low. Don't worry about which arm is punching forward, just keep moving, and think about activating through the sides of the hips as well as the inner thighs. In our first AMRAP, we're gonna be focusing on the right arm. We have two moves that we're gonna repeat back to back, 10 reps for each one. Remember, form is everything, so you can always take more rest if you need it. In this squat to overhead press, think about controlling your bicep curl as you go up and down. At the bottom of the squat, press your knees out, weight is in the heels, your chest is up, your spine is straight. Remember to breathe and avoid shifting side to side. Keep your core tight. Right leg back, hinge at the hips, spine is straight, chest is open. As you row up, row low on the hip and squeeze your shoulder blade to spine. Hold for a moment and release with control.
the left side, let's focus on maintaining the same pacing that we had on the right. To get the most out of these exercises, think about moving slowly and steadily with excellent form. Pull your belly button into spine and keep your spine straight.
As you lift your arms up, think about engaging the muscles underneath the shoulder blades to pull the blades down the back. This is gonna help you open your chest. Keep your elbows slightly bent. Keep your core tight so you're not arching your lower back. In this tricep kickback, we're hinged at the hips, knees are bent, weight is in the heels, and we're pushing the hips back. Keep your chest open by squeezing your shoulder blades together. As the arms straighten, squeeze the triceps at the back of the arm, hold for a moment, and release with control. In these two exercises, we're focusing on the right side. The first lunge is with two dumbbells. The second lunge is body weight. We have 10 reps for each one. Remember that you can take breaks at any time. are square to the front of the mat. Front knee is stacked over top of ankle. Make sure that you're tucking your tailbone under by engaging through your lower abdominals. Think about squeezing through your back glute. As you stand up out of the lunge, push down through the center of your heel. Squeeze your booty. And think about using your big toe and pinky toe for stability to maintain the alignment of knee to center foot. As we transition into the body weight step-ins, the challenge is to stay as low as we can in the front thigh. We're hinged at the hips, which is going to help us target the standing glute. The weight is in the heel and the chest is lifting in opposition. Remember to keep your belly button hugged in to stabilize your lower back.
body in this next circuit. We're going to be working for 10 reps for each of these exercises. Thank you. 
In this glute bridge, legs are in parallel and feet are hip distance. Line the knees up to the center of the foot, push down through the center of your heel. Tuck your tailbone under and squeeze your glutes the whole time. In your fly, your weights are in line with your chest and you wanna maintain a slight bend in the elbows. As we transition into the core pullover, focus on keeping the lower back flat to the floor by pulling the belly button into spine. This can be done either alternating single legs or double leg lower. Make sure that as your arms go overhead that your shoulders are away from ears and that you're pressing the back ribs down and engaging the upper core muscles which are right underneath your chest where your floating ribs are. strong with more core work, 60 seconds per move. In this side plank, your body is one strong line from head to toe. Push your bottom forearm into the ground, roll your shoulders back and down, squeeze your glutes and pull your belly button in.
In this alternating circle, we're squeezing the block between the inner thighs, pulling the belly button in and focusing on keeping the lower back flat. Open your chest, press your shoulders back, chin in, eyes up. Remember to switch directions at the top of each circle. Outside of your ankle, breathing out and pulling the belly button into spine. the yoga bridge. Legs are in parallel, push your heels into the ground, squeeze your glutes. And as you lift your chest up, you have the option of going a little deeper, interlacing the fingers underneath you and pressing the pinky fingers into the ground. Lift the heart up and allow there to be space between the chin and chest. Release the arms, slowly roll down the spine. You got the white knuckles. Hug your knees into your chest and roll, roll up. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Flex your feet. And we'll bend the right knee. Rotate the right hip externally out. So knee points to the side of the mat. Breathe your arms up and we're going to bow forward, reaching to the bottom foot. Breathe into your back. Relax your face. Final twist, we'll step the right leg over left, push the right foot into the ground, and you're gonna lift the opposite arm and twist towards your right. Chest is lifted, shoulders are away from ears, spine is straight. Release, and now we'll switch sides, bend the left knee, rotate the hip externally, open, inhale, and exhale, bow. Relax your shoulders. Flex through your foot and push out through the four corners of the foot. Let's take our twist. So left leg over right. Push the foot into the ground. Opposite arm lifts and we twist towards the left. Release. Let's 
bring our feet together, knees wide, hands on ankles. Lift your chest up and hinge at the hips, bowing forward. Feel free to walk the hands underneath the feet to get a deeper stretch. You got the white knuckles holding on a tie. Keep your feet bottled up inside. We'll come on up and make our way into a tabletop position for a cat cow child's pose flow. So we'll squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the heart, round the spine, and now push the hips back into child's pose. Let's repeat that. So we arch, we round, and we press back, walk the fingertips forward. One more time, breathing through the movement. Now we're gonna step into a lunge, step the right leg to the outside of the mat. We'll twist towards the right. And you have the option for a quad stretch. So pick your heel to sit bone, and then reach back with the right hand, holding onto the left foot or ankle. Roll your shoulder back, open your chest up, breathe. Flex your foot and kick away from the body to help stabilize your knee. Release, we'll switch sides. Opening into your twist. Left arm reaches back for right foot. we're all done if you enjoyed this workout make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you at your next workout <laughs>